Hello and welcome to Hyperdrive Solutions. Today I'll explain you how you can easily install CS version in a new server system. Now before installing a server MSI, you'll have to make sure that there are some prerequisites Windows software that needs to get installed or activated in the new server system. This is because it's required to have the, we need to first create the server client environment. We need to make the system equipped with the server system so that we can easily download and install the server system. So for that, we need this .NET Framework 4.0 and then we need the Internet Information Services application. Generally, we say that the IIS service required for the client server communication. So once this application sits in place, we can download the HDPS CS version from the website. As you can see, I'm already on hyperdrivesolutions.com. From here, you can just go to the product option. From the product, you'll get to HDPS, HDPS, you can go to and click this download option. Once you click on download option, it will take you to the download page of the HTTPS Smart software. The first one is the download HTTPS Smart single standalone application. And the second one is the HTTPS Smart for multiple stores. That is the HTTPS Smart CS version. So once you click here, it will immediately start downloading the file. And here we have the downloaded file already in the system and uh, now there are some systems uh, that has access rights constraints and due to which that will not allow us to install the cs version in a click of a mouse so to install the software we can always use the command form by accessing the administrative privileges and we can install the hdps server system uh, the msi easily in, the, uh, in your system so how we can do that thing, we just have to click here some on command prompt. From command prompt, we can go to run as administrator so that the command prompt has all the administrative privileges. Once you are in the admin, command prompt administrator prompt, you can just go and uh, browse the folder where you have downloaded the exe. So for understanding purpose, I'll just quickly uh, copy the URL where I have downloaded the file and then I'll go here and I'll just paste it here and uh, immediately browse to the folder of the software. So once I'm here in the system and uh, then I can immediately copy the exact name of the exe here and uh, just type in and uh, if I click here enter it will immediately start downloading the software. So right now we are in the downloading wizard. So it's asking us to download the MSI in your system. So I'll say yes, next. And uh, by default, the settings is has been done. The default site has to be and the HDPS server, everything default app tool, which has to be your .NET Framework 4.0. So once, as I said in the beginning, that once you pre-request this software is been installed and activated properly, then this settings you don't have to touch it and uh, you just click on next and, uh, it will immediately start installing the software in the system and uh, yes here we go hdps smart server v2 has been successfully installed so now the msi is already installed but and it will also tell you that now we need to download the client exe to access the server system because right now we have only installed the server application but to access the server system we need the client application to be downloaded and get connected to the server system so how we can do i'll just quickly explain it to you so once it is installed it will just restart your is servers so we just have to say yes so it will restart the is servers and uh, let me open the browser now and once it gets restarted automatically it will take you to the actual url because right now i'm installing the server in msi and the client in the same system so by default it will take localhost as a system and then hdps server is the application what we are trying to download and install in the system so 
all that details will get pre-filled in the browser you don't have to touch anywhere and here it will show you the version number the last release the version application all details will be there. so now if i click here download hdps it will immediately start downloading the msi file sorry the client exe file the msi file is already been downloaded and installed in the system so now the exe is also got installed downloaded so let me double click it i'll just minimize this browser for better user experience and um, now the screen will take us to the registration window from where we'll have to activate the subscription keys for the product so as you can see first we have to register for the client and uh, here your name you have to mention so you just have to put your name here then the business name business type followed by city you can type in your city then followed by your country and then your regis registered email id where you have which you have used it for your sub subscription activation so i'm using this demo for hds at gmail.com and then you can fill in your mobile number as well and once you click here all of these details will get registered in our CRM and uh, you'll be prompt to put the key here but since we are we already have a subscription key so you can bypass this key because this this key is your trial key so I don't want to put the trial key I want to put the actual subscription license key. so after registration because registration is must whenever you will be downloading and installing HBPS products without registration you cannot activate your subscription keys so keep in mind guys that you have to register the application once you download and install the software in the system so at the moment this is the trial key it is asking us to put over here so we'll just bypass this thing by just clicking cancel and i'll go to i already have a key where it is asking me to put the registered email id and the license for the activation so let me go to the email part and if you go in the email you will see the this type of email you'll get once you are subscribed for the product and uh, here you will get all the details of the license key the subscription number and the registered email id so your email is this so i'll just copy it demo for sds at gmail.com and uh, i will key in here and then I will put the subscription key. Let me paste it here. After pasting, uh, copying the license key here, I'll click on request activation code, and uh, it will uh, it will notify me that the activation code has been sent to your registered email ID. I'll say okay let me go to the registered email id i can see there's an activation code for the cs application is being sent to me i'll copy that uh, activation code and uh, i will key in here in the activation activation code text and i'll just click on activate the license so we are successfully able to activate the client exe but now we know that this is a server system so again it's asking you that which server to point because the client exe has been activated now it is actually pointing to the server system so it will we just have to click on ok because it will go to the same localhost http server and uh, now this is very important thank you for trying to trying the client server version of a software you need to have a separate registration key for server software remember guys we activated the client software license but the server software also requires a license because this is a server system so 
it will take you to the, the next once i click here it will take me to the registration page of the server where again i'll follow the same process we will have to fill up our name and business name business type city followed by your country and then again your registered email id so i have given the email id and then the phone number as well so once i click here again it will complete the registration process and all of the system details will get extracted to us here so now as i said that this key is your trial key but now we are reinstalling the final server key in the system so we don't have to really put the trial key here so we can just bypass this by clicking cancel and i'll go to i already have a key and then i'll again go to my email and i'll go to the server uh, subscription key which i got an email so this is the subscription again i will copy the email id so this I will key in here and uh, then I will key in the server key so I have copied let's paste it and then I'll click on request activation code so again the activation code is being sent to my registered email id so I can see there's an activation code I got it I'll copy that activation code and I will key in here the activation code you can see the license is activated successfully and uh, now I'll just minimize the screen and uh, you can see the splash screen is waiting for the license key to get activated just click on ok take some time because the software has to get activated the IS servers and it has to point to the right database and all so it will take few seconds once that is done this is just a notification that you need to take database backup so that anytime we have great crash or anything unfortunate things happen in your system your database is saved so just to click so right now i'm just bypassing this thing and here we go so this is how we can install the cs version easily in your system so hope you enjoyed this video and understood how you can install the client server version of hdps thank you very much for watching this video.